let's take a look at how we're going to remove the front overhead dome covers to get access to the old halogen bulbs. You'll be using the fork shape tool and you'll be inserting between the plastic trim and the plastic housing here. Now when you insert between, you're going to pry it loose to separate the plastic lens cover from the overhead dome and you should be able to release the cover. When you flip it around, you should be able to see about six to eight plastic clips that are holding that cover in place. You're going to use the pointed wedge tool now to remove the old halogen bulbs in order to replace them with the new LEDs. Now in order to get access to the two front overhead map lights, you'll need to remove the entire overhead assembly to get access from behind. You'll need a T25 style Torx, Torx wrench and you'll need to remove the screw from the sunglass holder. Once you have that removed, use the blunt edge of the pointed wedge tool to gently pry and release the entire assembly. Once you have the assembly removed, from the back side you'll see two twist to lock T10 connectors. You'll be turning them counterclockwise to release them and you can just pull them out. Once you have them released, you'll be able to remove the T10 bulb as shown here just by pulling them out with your hands. You can then replace it with the new LED. When you insert them again, turn them clockwise to secure them in place. Go ahead and test those LEDs to make sure they work. If they don't, you can always, of course, reverse the polarity of those LED bulbs and then reinsert them to test again. To insert the overhead console back into the headliner, just push it back in place, screw the T25 Torx screw back into place, and make sure to replace the cover for the overhead dome lights from earlier in the installation. Now it's a little bit easier to get access to the rear overhead dome lights because there's only one assembly. Again, you're going to use the blunt edge of the pointed wedge tool and you're using it to gently pry it loose, not from the headliner, but from the actual assembly that's in the headliner. Just run the tool around the edges until they pop out. There should be four connectors holding it in place once you flip that cover over to see. You can use your fingers to remove those T10 bulbs and replace them with the new LEDs. Again, once you have the new LEDs in place, you want to go ahead and test. If they don't work, it's okay. Go ahead and flip them around to reverse polarity and try again. Let's take a look at the courtesy door lights. You'll be using the pointed wedge tool to remove the assembly from the door trim. Insert the pointed end into the housing where there's an indentation and you'll be able to pry the housing loose. You'll want to remove the plug to remove power before working on this assembly. Once you have the plug removed, you need to remove the black protective cover in order to gain access to that halogen bulb. You can use the pointed wedge to remove the T10 bulb easily from the housing. Once you have it out, insert the new LED and plug it back into the connector just to test to see if it works. Again, if it does not work the first time, reverse the polarity of the LED and try again. Make sure to replace that black cover before inserting the housing back into the door. The Audi A4 trunk light is essentially the same type as the courtesy door lights. You need to insert the tool into the indentation of the assembly to remove the assembly from the aluminum lining. Follow the same steps you did as the courtesy door lights and you'll be able to install this one pretty quickly.
Now in order to gain access to the license plate lights, you'll actually be using two tools. The blunt edge of the pointed wedge, and what we consider the rounded wedge. There is a section of that license plate housing where you can insert the first tool and force it towards the outside and you'll use the other tool's edge in order to remove it by prying down. Once you have the assembly out, you'll be able to get access to that festoon type bulb to remove the halogen and replace it with the new LED. Now the LEDs that we use for the license plate light are canvas type LEDs and are required in order for the lights not to give warnings on your Audi's dash. Once you have these ones inserted, go ahead and test before reinserting the entire assembly to make sure they work. As always, if you have additional questions or comments, you can reach us on the web at www.precisionled.com. There's also a contact section available on the webpage where you can get a hold of us directly via email or our sales line. Thanks for watching.